total violation of my professional code of ethics. Chloe. I could lose my license. The last thing that boy needs is his own web page. I didn't bring Derek into this. He he came into it on his own. I, I have he heard enough. To... I am filing charges against you with the state board. And what if they take away your license? Then I'll leap from that bridge when I come to it. It's official. They launched the preliminary investigation. Well, what are you going to do about it? Stop consulting for the site. You're part of the team. I have to go. We couldn't have done this without you. You know that. going on since we moved my mother into Sunset Streams about three months ago. She thinks there's a Bigfoot running around her condos. Yeah, I don't know. Bigfoot lives up in the Pacific Northwest, so... Well, she uses the term skunk ape. She saw it in an article on your website. <laughs> really? I didn't know that my site had reached the silver demographic. <laughs> well, we do. Her neighbor, Bert, who's this sweet old guy... Yeah, he, he got her hooked on it, and, and it's all that she talks about. The skunk ape. Did she smell it? Smell it? Yeah, that, that's why they call it the skunk ape. You know, eyewitnesses claim that it gives off this really foul stench. Like, whoo. But Betty says that this is, is stalking her. Huh. Did you get a photograph of it? Oh, I don't think so. You know what? You know what? I'm sorry. We're, we, we're being rude. Um, Debbie, honey, would you, would you get Derek another drink? Sure. I'll be right back. All right. We've been trying to get actual photographic proof of the skunk ape for years, man. Derek. It's like it's chapter one of Florida folklore. Look, listen to me, listen to me, youth? listen to me. Okay, I've been selling cars for 15 years. I own three dealerships in this city alone. Okay, I know a good hustle when I see one, and trust me, yours is good. It's <laughs> it's very good. It's maybe one of the best I've ever seen. I mean, you actually have people believe in this trash. Well, now, first of all, it's not trash, and second... Oh, cut the crap, cut the crap. You and I both know that there's no skunk ape, and that's what I want you to tell my mother-in-law. Well, didn't she say that she saw it? She's, she's using this as an excuse to get out of Sunset Streams and, and into my house, and that, that can't happen. Wait, you want me to debunk a story just to keep some old lady in a retirement home? Okay, keep it down. Now, Debbie has to think that this is legitimate. My website is legitimate. Apparently, you have some people over at Sunset Streams believing that, and that skunk ape idea in Betty's head, and that's why I need you to be the one to assure that it's all bogus. No, I don't work like that, okay? Name your price. $9,856. You've got to be kidding. And 23 cents. But how could they find you? And where'd they come up with a figure like that anyway? Committee full of shrinks probably has some hidden meaning from their childhood. So can you pay it? <laughs> yeah. If I uh, sell my car, have a garage sale maybe. And what if you don't pay? Well... And I lose my license. So if you do pay, you get to keep your license, right? Oh, no. <laughs> that part's still up for review. That's what this whole hearing's all about. I'm gonna be late. Can you make sure that you tell Derek that I might need y'all to testify? Sure. No problem. And when is Lon coming back? Uh, not until Monday. Okay. Hey, good luck. You're gonna be fine. Don't worry about it. Oh, thanks. Okay. <laughs> Bye. Dude. You are not gonna believe the meeting that I just had, man. Uh, D. There's this guy. He wants to pay me to lie to his mother-in-law. Chloe's in trouble. There's this old lady. She's living at this retirement home, and he, she, she says that the skunk ape is running around loose out there. The psych uh, review board's uh, gunning uh, for her she, license. She's gonna pay me to convince her that it isn't. Like I'm some shyster that preys on elderly people, you know? Do I look like a shyster to you? They already fined her almost ten grand. Who? What? Who? Chloe! You're not even listening to me. God. Wait, ten grand? Oh, well, nine grand and change. $9,000? And if she doesn't pay it by next week, she'll definitely lose her license. Wait, how's Chloe gonna come up with $9,000? I don't know, yard sale, cookies? What? I could sell my soul to a used car salesman.
six dollars? You said name your price, right? And we named it. It's non-negotiable. <laughs> Everything's negotiable. Let's go, Jake. All right, all right, all right. But for nine grand. No, $9,856. And 23 cents. No more skunk ape, and your pesky mother-in-law isn't moving in. You have our word. I'll let her know you're coming. Chloe? Chloe Tanner, is that you? Margaret. Hi. Hi. <laughs> How have you been? Really well. How about you? Oh, good, yeah. What brings you here? I, well, I kind of have this hearing. Is this the case with the little boy? You supposedly let some internet guy in on the case? Well, I, he was an expert, and the case was very complicated. You know, he Look, just... I didn't mean to imply you did something wrong. Oh, God, I'm sorry. I, I'm just nervous. About the executioners? The who? Well, you know, everybody calls the board members the executioners. Ms. Tanner, we're ready for you. I do not like lying, especially to old people. It's not going to be lying if we don't find it. <laughs> Come on, man. It's simple. You just look her in the eye and you say there is no skunk ape here. There is no skunk ape here. There is no skunk ape here. Derek Barnes. I know you? Freaky B. This must be Jason. How are you doing? Hey, how's it going? Wait, you're Freaky B from the discussion board? Heard of you? Wow, I thought that you were... Younger? You thought you were a girl. Well, that's awkward. A little bit. So you're here to see Betty? I, how did you know? Well, good news travels fast, you know? I heard you were coming here to investigate. I damn near had a car in there. <laughs> I was so excited. <laughs> Come on, Betty's at the rec site. All righty. I'll introduce you around. Sarah, Andrew, it's Derek Barnes. Who? Derek Barnes from that website I was telling you about. The one with the naked ladies. Just a second. Henry, do you enjoy making me mad? I like the color it brings to your cheeks. You're not allowed to wear those metal spikes in here anymore. The board voted. Want me to wear rubber things like you and your gal? Well, your round takes five hours. There's no damn traction. Take them off and leave Betty out of this. Oh, it's fine, Bert. Clown wants to put potholes in the rec room floor. All right, don't have a stroke. Fellas, this is Betty. Hi. And this is the founder and CEO of Freaky Links. Hi. First, I would like to tell the board a little bit about Freaky Links. Um... Freaky what? Freaky Links. It's a website that documents the bizarre and unusual. They doing your life story? Ha <laughs> ha. These are the guys I was talking about. And this is the one that's here to document your skunk ape. Well, actually, chances are pretty slim that we're going to find a skunk ape running around out here. They are? See, we've been running after that thing for years, and we've only met one person who has really seen it. Uh, Jimmy Boy Smith. Derek's work is based on reliable witnesses. He's not exactly what you would call a reliable witness. When he's investigating a case, Derek always employs the scientific method. I'm no scientist. I investigate stories, and then I report back on what I find, you know? He is an impartial observer, not given to flights of fancy. And sometimes I, I, I blow it up a little bit for entertainment purposes. He absolutely always obtains documented proof before posting. Most of the time, I'm forced to go with my gut. The skunk ape exists. It does. I just don't think that it exists around here. I do believe that you saw something. I just think that there's a more rational explanation. Science has always thrived on the irrational. I mean, it used to be heresy to say the Earth was round. Right? Right? Can you see me? Yes, yeah, sort of. Let me know if you see me in my shoes up there. That thing's been sneaking in here and stealing my stuff. All right, look, we're going to look around for a little bit more. We'll be down in a minute, OK? OK. So what now, man? Going to do a full-on termite inspection? <laughs> we'll just look around for a little bit longer, you know? Make her feel more safe. Yeah. Well, might as well lay down some fiberglass insulation while we're at it. Chill out, bro. Check this out, come here. What's up? Animal tracks. Or just cheap wood. Dude, 
That is so foul, bro. No, that is not me, man. <coughs> God, it smells like human. Hey, it's not a skunk ape, all right? I just said it was. That's probably nothing. No, no. No, that's definitely something. Look, even if it was something, it's probably nothing. You get me? Whatever, let's just check it out. Is that animal hair? And the smell? Dude, we're standing right in the middle of Skunk Ape Central. No, but we can't be. What do you mean? Well, if we tell Betty that there's a skunk ape running around out here, no nine grand. And Chloe screwed. So what's the call? Well, um, we, we, we've definitely found something amazing out oh. there. Oh. <laughs> um, there's distinct evidence. Uh-huh. Uh, there's distinct evidence of... raccoons. Raccoons? Yeah, probably a whole family of the little buggers. What about the finger in the ceiling? Well, um, it, it, it might have been one of the little snouts. And the eyeball? Well, raccoon's eyes, um, they, they glow too, kind of like cats. Well, what about the stuff from my bedroom? The stockings and the shoes and the perfumes? Well, maybe you misplaced them or loaned them out without remembering. Are you absolutely sure that it isn't a skunk ape? Yes, trust me. Um, I know all of the signs of a skunk ape infestation, and your house doesn't show a single one. And you're sure? Positive. All right. I believe you, Derek. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you so much, dear. Okay. Thank you, thank you. Oh. Mm. Mm. Betty will not be bothering you about the skunk ape anymore. You sure about this? Yes, I'm sure, I'm sure. Why don't you call her yourself? No, no, I can't call her yet. That'd be too obvious. Well, if, if I could get some sort of time frame here. If you've done the job, you'll get your money. I just want to make sure that I don't get any more frantic midnight phone calls. Don't worry about it. Everything's going to be fine. Oy. What's your emergency? It's here. I can't see it, but it's here. What's there, sir? Is everything okay? Sir? Uh. Sir, are you okay? To him. Heart attack. They found his body out by the tenth hole, right by the edge of the green. Wait, Bert's dead? Shh, listen. I don't get it. Skunk ape. What? You just said it was a heart attack. EMT reported a hellacious stench at the scene. Well, that would go along with what we found in Betty's attic. It fits all the signs of a classic skunk ape event. Well, what classic signs? The ones you posted on your website. Oh, oh, those. Uh, yeah. We gotta reopen the investigation. No, come on, Dee, the fates are conspiring here. There is no skunk ape at Sunset Streams. Uh, did I mention that they also found some stinky hair at the scene? Stinky hair? Like this? Oh, gimme. Look, what about Chloe? 
We pursue this any further, we're gonna lose that nine grand. How? If we get some footage of this thing, we're worth a hell of a lot more than nine grand. Oh, wait a second. We had a deal. I can get fired for this, you know. Okay, all right. Um, yeah, write this down. Write this down. It's A, mm -hmm. G, X, mm -hmm. H, mm -hmm. 2700. What is it? It's a uh, gift certificate to shoptheobly.com. Not bad. Yeah. Oh, the only catch is you have to log on as Coochie Catcher 4343. Wait a minute. Is that legal? Yeah. If you don't get caught. Cool. Yeah. Hi. Hi. Is uh, Betty here? Yeah, are we in the wrong place? Yeah, you're in the right place. I'm just offering my condolences about Bert. Yeah, yeah, so are we. Um, oh. Is she around? Yeah, yeah, come on in. Thank you. Okay, love. Bye-bye. <laughs> oh, your ears must have been burning. What? And I just hung up with my daughter, Debbie. We were talking about you. Oh, really? I told you that you had set my mind at ease, that there is no skunk ape. <laughs> well, um, about Bert. Oh, I know. It was his heart. It just gave out. At least he died playing the game he loved. And you know he was just thrilled to meet the two of you. <laughs> Listen, um, I don't know how to tell you this, but I think that we made a mistake. Yeah, we're not so sure Bert actually died of a heart attack. What? Well, we think that the skunk ape got him. Hi. Hi, I'm, I'm looking for Derek Barnes. Did you knock? Yes, no answer. Derek? Hey, Derek? Uh, I just I just came to drop this off. There was no mail slot. Can I just leave it with you? What is it? It's payment. He did a job for me over at Sunset Streams. He charged you? Oh, boy, did he. Money? Oh, uh, make sure and tell him he did a great job. Sure thing. Stop scaring people with this skunk ape crapola. Sure, I've seen it. Right out there by the tenth hole. Huh, so, um, wh what was it doing? I think it was taking a bath. Woke up half the place. The racket it was making. Spiders? Uh, no, 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 no. It's, it's a, a website. Oh, you mean like when they put the black widow in the web and... I didn't have to get close. I could smell that thing clear across town. It was disgusting. No, it no. Um, it's it's like a it's a newspaper. Only we put it out on the computer. I could vomit from it. Shouldn't you kids be in school or something? There is no such thing as a skunk ape. Really? Derek, what are you doing? Um, I'm working. What are you doing? I came to bring you this. Ah, that might come in handy. Since when did you start charging money for your cases? Uh, since the website started getting really expensive. Right. You know, with gas and, and more tapes. Plus food. Yeah, adds up. You told him about my fine, didn't you? Well, what do you expect? Look, I, I felt guilty for this whole Inquisition thing that you're going through, so I, I, I thought that I would help out. Well, I appreciate that, but I can't accept this. What? But you need it, Chloe. Well, I'm not going to take it. You really charged a man money to find a skunk ape? No, no, not to find it, to debunk it. Well, actually, we just had to lie to some guy's mother-in-law, but... Yeah. Oh, great. So you're compromising your principles for money. No, not anymore. We're back on a skunk ape trail. We know our job. Yeah. Well, then you can't take this. No, it, it, it's not for us, Chloe. It's for you. I don't want it. Okay. Fine. I'll take it. You're going to cash a check for services not rendered? No, no. They were rendered. Now we're just unrendering them. Derek, that's stealing. You say tomato, I say tomato. So what are you planning on doing with all this money? $1,856.23. Hey, guys. What are you guys doing? So, um, see you. Okay, so Bert's cell phone was here. 
His body was found here at the 10th hole, and this is Betty's place. Let's do this. Got it. <laughs> All right, pass me up that camera, Chloe. Up. Thank you. Yep. Oh, God. Y'all getting that up there? Oh, man, just got it. Oh, man. What was that? What was what? That noise. Did you hear that? No, I didn't hear anything. Did you? No, nah, man, but you can definitely smell it. <laughs> oh, God, is that spring? Spring. Oh, Francis. That skunk ape must bathe in there, you know? Is that what makes it sting so bad? I don't know, but you can make some chemical weapons out of that. Damn. We can go back to Betty's now? Yeah, coming now. Look out. Woo. Oh. All right, team. I'll take first watch. D. D, you're drooling. Oh, I'm sorry. Sleep. Um, I need some caffeine. No, that one over there. Oh. No, 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 I was spitting that one. Why did you spit in this? I was bored, didn't have nothing else to do. You need a hobby. Did you see that? Great. It looks like that thing's busting our cameras. Looks like that thing doesn't like having his picture taken. It's getting closer. It's coming right for us. It's right outside. Come on, y'all. Let's get us a skunk cape on tape. Betty. Betty? It's not gone. Oh. Betty, stay here, all right? Come on, Jason. out of my eyes? Yeah, oh, sorry. Oh, uh, we thought you were someone else. Yeah, what are you doing here? Well, I heard Betty scream. Is she all right? Oh, I'm fine now. I just, just saw that damn skunk ape again. Yeah, he was just here. It's after Betty. Oh, Betty, maybe you should stay at my place. Oh, no, Henry, it's out to get me. And he could find me just as easily at your place as it got to me here. You could stay with us. No, no, I want to stay with my daughter tonight. No, 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 that, that's, that's not a good idea. Why not? Um, he could easily follow you there, too, and he might take advantage of your daughter. That is nonsense. No, I am going, and you're going to drive me. Yesterday, you said it was raccoons. I was wrong yesterday. You're fueling her delusions. No, Gil, we all saw something, OK? Oh, she's fueling your delusions. I'm not deluding, all. Oh, oh, excuse me, but didn't you just? Hold on. I think if we could all just calm down, talk about this rationally, and explore maybe what this is doing to well, your family. Well, I, I think if we rationally explore the fact that I paid you guys to get my mother-in-law off my back, and somehow you have managed to do the complete opposite. You paid Derek to lie to me? Gil, is this true? Gil? Gil? Well, um, no. Not exactly. Hmm. Then what? 
Sort of, kind of. Oh, hold on, okay. I, I think Gil just has some subverted feelings, which we could work through. He's, what are you, some kind of shrink? Yes, as a matter of fact, I am. And you're associated with them? Well, I think I should report you for, for malpractice. Well, get in line. <laughs> Where are you going? I'm out of here. Mom! Let her go, okay? Let her go. Let her go? Maybe I should let you go. Great. Serves you right. You know what? Get the hell out of my house. And I want my nine grand back. Can he really sue us? That Gil needs some serious therapy. Could all go to Canada. Nobody's going anywhere. We got something. Show me. All right, these are the tracks we found in Betty's attic. We've already been through this, man. Those are animal tracks. No, they're not animal tracks. They're shoe prints. What? Golf spikes. They don't leave normal shoe prints. They just make a bunch of tiny holes. Is this going anywhere anytime soon? Just take a breath for a sec. The shoe and the print are missing the same exact spike. Henry's golf spikes made the marks that we saw in Betty's attic. So? So that means he was up there. OK, he's a peeping Tom. Um, you know, dirty old man kind of sort of thing. No, 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 no. What do you think? Henry's working with the skunk ape like he trained him or something? I don't know, but maybe he created it. Oh, God. What? <laughs> Ugh. What? Oh my. I'm sorry I stormed out like that. No, I... no, it's okay. Uh, no. I, I'm sorry that I lied to you. No, no, it's not your fault. You were just doing your job. Yeah, okay, but still, I really, I should... Now, listen, listen, I came here because I need you. I need proof. I need my family to realize that I'm not crazy. Mom, I never said you were crazy. Oh, but Derek, that thing out there is real. <laughs> You're a psychologist, right? I mean, do you hear what she's saying? Debbie, I, I really don't think I should take sides here. What good are you, then? I need someone to believe me. There's a skunk ape out there, and it's got a thing for my underwear. <laughs> I want some proof. OK, OK, OK. Um, what do you know about Henry? Henry? Breaking and entering. You don't have firearms. It's only a second degree felony. Isn't that like five years? Ten. So let's not get caught. Okay. That smell again. It smells like rotten flesh. I think it's coming from the fridge. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Looks like a jar of that canal water. I think it's from that spring, you know? Uh, what you think it's doing with it? I don't know. This is close, bro. <laughs> some kind of amateur astrologer or something. Obsessive, man. Hey, listen to this. Every 163 years, the planets all gather in one quadrant of the sky. What's that got to do with all of this ape stuff? Wait a minute. The gravitational pull not only affects the tides, but literally sucks water up from the center of the Earth. Is that what that stinky-ass water is? Huh. I guess so. Maybe it's some kind of ancient water from deep inside the earth. Yeah, but why would Henry be stockpiling this? This is as good as mine. Hey. 
He's back. Let's go talk to him. We did kind of break inside his place. It's a good point. Turn off your light and hide. Check this out. Oh, my God. It's destroying the Betty. See, I told you. You told me what? Henry's got that thing trained, like the Edgar Allan Poe story. Which one? Better than a root more. This guy trained a monkey to be his hitman. So, wait, what you're saying is, is that Henry trained that ape to do all of his dirty work? And he's got a twisted crush on Betty. Ugh. Hey, Chloe! Betty! Hey, it smells like that thing was here. Man, it's probably us. That's a good point. So what do you think this stuff is anyway, huh? I don't know, probably from the sewage system or something. You want to get it on tape? Yeah, cool, let's hook that up. Hey, Chloe! All right, okay. business time, business time. Yeah, professional, professional. You all set? Okay. Rolling? Yeah. All right, freaks. In my hands here, I hold the stinky water that bubbles up from below. Now, is this stuff skunk ape deodorant, or is it the source of the mysterious swamp gashes? <laughs> hey, Jay. What are, you, what are you doing? Oh, God. Oh, don't put the top back on. <laughs> oh. Told you it was nasty. Oh, no. Jay? What's wrong with you? Are you okay? I don't know, man, man. Oh, it feels so weird. Oh, God, that's so... I think you better take a look at this. Why? What? Why? And all of a sudden, I feel things falling on my face. Then, when I look on the bed, yes, yes, the chips, chips from all over the field. What is this stuff? Whatever it is, Henry's definitely corner of the market. Wait a second. Henry isn't working with the skunk ape. Henry is the skunk ape. Exactly. And if he's after Betty... Chloe. Hello? Hey, what did Henry say? Where are you? 
Well, I'm still at Gills. We're doing a little family counseling, and I... Listen, just get out, okay? No, I, I think it's fine, really. We've actually made some progress. He's kind of calm. No, no, I'm saying that it's not safe. Exactly. The, the water makes the skunk ape, and it's after Betty. Wait, wh what? Just get out of there! <laughs> Chloe? <laughs> Chloe! Mindy. 911, what's your emergency? Is Mindy there? Uh, I'm sorry, Mindy doesn't work tonight. L listen to me, it's an emergency, all right? This might sound a little bit strange, but there is a skunk ape running around on... Hello? Hello? We gotta get over there. Fast. Let's go. That thing's still here. Where? Nice to see you, too. Where is everybody? They're all hiding in the bathroom. This is a real scary. Oh. What's going on over here? Huh? Uh, uh, oh, uh, panic attack. Shh, shh, I told you it was real. Hey, Gil. Remember what you were saying to us about suing us? Throwing that malpractice thing at Chloe? I don't care anything about that. Just get that thing out of here! Hey, Jason, is that binding? Verbal agreement? Sure. I mean, officially, we don't own this nine grand back. Why, why is it following me? What does it want? Well, Betty, I, I don't know really how to tell you this, but you see, um... The skunk ape? Yeah, it, it's Henry. What? H how is that possible? Well, well, it's in the water. What water? Well, see, <laughs> Jason and I, we were walking around Sunset Streams, you know? And there was this little babbling brook, you know, like... <laughs> and the water seems to have some type of magical powers. Yeah, um, see, it's rumored that Ponce de Leon, th these were his stomping grounds when he was looking for the, uh, the Fountain of Youth. And it looks like Henry found what Ponce could... Only, it's not like the water makes you 50 years younger, it's more like 50 million years younger, kind of like Cro Magnet almost. A uh, fountain of the evolution, if you will. Excuse me, can somebody... Mr. Gill, would you shut up, please? Oh, Henry, what you did to Bert was unforgivable. You should be locked up. Please, Betty, you've got to understand. I, I didn't mean to hurt anybody. I was just helping Bert find his ball. The reason he strained his heart is because he was chasing me. I even dragged him back to the golf course, hoping that somebody would find him in time got to believe me. Why? Because I... I like you. You do? I was just trying to get close to you. Henry. Drinking that water, you know, I don't know, made me feel young, passionate. Alive. I'm addicted to it. 
without that, I'm, I'm just an old man on his way out the door. I, I know it's wrong, but I like it. Well, Henry, I'm, I'm flattered. And I promise I'll give you back your underwear. Henry, if you and I are ever to have a sort of relationship, you've, you've got to realize something. You need help. Nothing smells quite like you. A rainwashed street, a honeydew. My name is Henry. Hi, Henry. Come and tell me right on time. I have a drinking problem. Teaching me, we're living fine. The problem is. You have to accept the fact that Derek truly is an expert in his field. I have to admit, when I first saw the website, I was skeptical, but not anymore. Derek and, and his team not only rescued my mother-in-law from a dangerous stalker, but they, they managed to mend a rift that was threatening to tear my family apart. Now, revoking Chloe's license would be a crime not only against her, but against, against the people that she works with and all the people they'd be prevented from helping in the future. Thank you. Chloe Tanner, what you did was in severe violation of the oath you swore to uphold. However, the work that you do on this website has actually seemed to help people. And that, when all is said and done, is the purpose of our profession. Therefore, it is the decision of this board to uphold your license. But there is the small matter of the fine to clear up. Oh, <laughs> I st still owe that. Yes, of course. This finances the investigation and the board's expenses. Now, who is going to pay the $9,856.23? Gil, how much is our family worth to you? Silver.